all right guys what is going on back with some more division two um been hearing uh been seeing a lot of questions around you know the community a lot of people asking you know is intimidate still good with the nerf it got in the in this update I'm gonna go ahead and check it out uh, i'm gonna go ahead and check out the new updated intimidate and then sh i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay and give you my opinion on whether it's still good or not and uh and yeah all right so for for these guys who do not know intimidate got a change before uh well let's read it intimidate while you have bonus armor gain one stack each second up to a max stack of seven each stack increases weapon damage by 5% to enemies within 10 meters. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. So yeah, got a pretty big nerf in my opinion, but I still think it's going to hit pretty hard. For you guys who um, remember, Intimidate was, before it got nerfed, it was an automatic, uh, I believe it was, uh, yeah, it, it was an immediate, you know, as long as you had bonus armor, you were automatically going to get that amplified 35% uh, weapon damage as long as you had bonus armor. So that's where Intimidate came in. Oh, uh, sorry. Adrenaline Rush came in. So whenever you had, uh, whenever you're within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 20% bonus armor for five seconds. Adrenaline Rush stayed the same, which is good. But Intimidate got a nerf, um, a nerf change, whatever you guys want to call it. But while you have bonus armor, now... It stacks up so as soon as you get that as soon as you're within those 10 meters you're gonna get adrenaline rush adrenaline rush is gonna proc you're gonna get that bonus armor but then instead of getting that immediate 35 percent amplified weapon damage now it's just gonna be a stack of five percent weapon damage of a stack of seven the 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 max the the stack is gonna cap out at seven stacks and it's gonna be five percent weapon damage per stack so so yeah i mean i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some gameplay um what i want to do what we got we got some heartbreaker over here let's go ahead and finish off this one control point but yeah gonna show you guys some gameplay then give you my thoughts and opinions on the new intimidate um for you guys who don't know intimidate in general rush uh, hunter's fury probably just one of my favorite gear sets in the game just not in terms of damage but it, i mean it, it's probably the hardest hitting but i think mainly for me it was the style of gameplay i mean i really like running around face tanking enemies um that's just the style i really enjoy in this game i i mean i enjoy playing a lot of other styles but my favorite is probably you know running gun intimidate adrenaline rush um, SMG, you know, face tank. So when I heard Intimidate was getting a nerf, I was a, a little scared just because I was like, I hope they don't nerf it to the ground and it's like unusable. But um, I don't know. I still think it's gonna hit pretty hard. I think it's just, you know, they, they're. I, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to get a little bit more build diversity in the game in terms of SMGs and stuff. Or I don't know, maybe it was for PvP. If it was for P PvP, they should have just changed it for PvP and left PvE alone. But I don't know. Hostile broadcast picked up. Um, I think I told you guys already we are running Hunter's Fury with this build. So yeah. Running a four-piece Hunter's Fury, and then we are running Intimidate Genre Rush with the Vector, with the name Vector, the Dark Winner. Let's get these guys here. So the stack, wow! So the stack built up pretty quick. Wow. Okay. So the stack built it. It didn't take long to reach max, so that's not too bad. I honestly thought it was was gonna take a while, but Oh, wow. 
wow. needed. All right, well. Agent Let's try it again. Signs zero. Let's try it again and let's try not to play stupid. Hostile broadcast detected. Supply room access unlocked. Wait, where am I going? Was I going the right way? Oh yeah, I was. Now I can see it stacking, but that okay. So you lose all your stacks when you have no bonus armor. Okay. I mean, we're still hitting hard, man. Okay, so I can see oh, you can hide, huh? still have bonus armor, so it's not going anywhere. I mean, it pretty much works the same way. As soon as you get bonus armor, you get intimidate. But the only thing is, you don't get you don't get the you don't get all the damage like you used to. You definitely could feel it though. You can feel the damage has been like taken away. guy doing up here this guy doing detecting additional hostile contacts No, what the? Oh, I'm sorry. Got alarms going off. Yeah, you can. De I mean, I don't know. It's not bad. It's definitely still good. I, I, I'm gonna say it's still good. But you, you can just feel like intimidate was, was so strong in the beginning. You get that immediate. 35% amplified damage now it's just like you can definitely feel it when when you hurt when it when it's not there
Yo, why are there enemies over here? I don't understand that. Is there a resource convoy over here or something? Not throwing me off. These guys are fucking like some they're, they're ratting, man. Alright. Where's this resource convoy access? Unlocked. Oh, we got the dare? We got another dare? Oh, here it is. I mean, I'm gonna say it's still good. I'm not gonna. It's just you can feel like you can feel it. You can feel that it. It's been nerfed, you know. It definitely, especially that initial. You know that initial, like, because you know you're so used to as soon as you get adrenaline rush. You know, you know as soon as you're within those ten meters, you're gonna get adrenaline rush, and then you're gonna get. Intimidate's gonna proc, and then, like, bam, you get that insane amount of damage, and now it's, like, it slowly builds up, and then it's kind of, like, you know, if, if like, the enemies aren't spawning in one location, and they're kind of scattered, then, intimid you know, it's, it's harder to keep the stack up, and then once Intimidate's gone, I'm sorry, once Adrenaline Rush is gone, damn, I looted this too, alright, once Adrenaline Rush is gone, it's, like, that's, that's pretty much it. You have to build that stack up all over again. I mean, it's it's not bad. It, it's still good. I'm definitely still going to be playing with it. Maybe have to tweak it a little bit. It's not a bad dare right here. All right. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Um, just wanted to make a short little video, show you guys the new Intimidate. I don't know. Let me. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. I mean, it's not. It's. I feel it wasn't a huge. You know, they didn't really take away any. How can I? How? What am I trying to say? They're, they didn't really, really take away any damage per se. It's just more like balance wise. You know, now it's like a. It has to build up, you know, instead of just it throwing off, instead of it just giving you all the damage, you know. And I believe they changed the name. The I don't have it on me though. It's the name Golden Gear Chess, but Perfect Intimidate. I believe that one's changed as well. But yeah, um, we ran the four piece Hunter's Fury for those of you guys who want to check it out. I'm um, pretty sure you guys know what Hunter's Fury does, I won't go over it, but. This is the talent. These are the bonuses it gives you. Um, Adrenaline Rush. You guys know what it does already. Intimidate. New Intimidate, I should say. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. I'm definitely still going to use Intimidate. Um, I just, man, I really miss old Intimidate already. But definitely going to. I mean, this gives a lot of people, you know, I feel like, I feel like for SMGs, for the longest, it was the same in Hunter's Fury Intimidate Adrenaline Rush because you know I couldn't really see anything else that that would beat this 
you know, in terms of damage wise, um, and survivability because you know the Hunter's Fury gives you that uh twenty percent armor on kill and hundred percent health on kill. Um, but yeah, um, you guys want to check out the main weapons? I am running the Dark Winter and the Scorpio Gunner Sidearm Gunner Class. Check out the stats. Pretty much the same build I ran a while back. Just you know, new intimidate now. <laughs> All right, um, two skills, Banshee Pulse and the Crusader Shield. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, want to really want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on new intimidate? Let me get let uh let me know how you guys like it. If you guys still are gonna run it, what do you what have you guys done different to change it? Maybe make it better. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the video, guys. Again, we really want to thank each and every one of you guys who have been watching the videos, supporting the channel, the nice comments really means a lot. I'm gonna be bringing you guys uh, so much more videos with the new content that's out. Gonna be bringing you guys some more build videos, countdown videos, and um, once we get mm, once we get the other uh, once we get the other lieutenants or whatever you guys call these guys bosses that unlock i'm definitely going to be already eliminated major major steel but then once we get um i think chang's next and then maybe daniels and then maybe last xander once those guys come out i definitely make some videos on those me taking down the final bosses for you guys with different builds um, but yeah that's the video guys that's all i got for you guys again you just really want to thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later.